guys, welcome to another video on Fusion 360. The goal of today's video is to build these tongs here. And the reason we want to do that is because we're learning about freeform modeling. So what we've been learning at the moment has been uh, modeling like this, really simple um, shapes where that we uh, can uh, sketch. Uh, and then extrude, and then we might modify those extrusions afterwards with fillets or cuts or, or something like that. Um, now, that has its purpose, and that's been really good, but the reason why we want to learn about freeform modeling is because we don't always want shapes like this. Uh, when we go um, shopping for products, we often look for those things that um, look really good, really curvy, fit really well in the hand. So while we might understand how to build something like this, whatever this thing is, um, with extrusions and sketches and cuts, how do we learn to model something like this? Something, free, what I'm calling freeform modeling, something that will really fit well on the hand, something that looks really good. Um, so this is the one we started with. Uh, and before we learn, um, before we get to this, shape like this. The reason we're changing it is because we have 3D printed this one already and I took it to the students and I said, okay, how can we improve this? And the two things that came back was a bigger gap here so we can tongs can close in tighter on, on whatever we're trying to pick up. Um, we could probably do that from, from this kind of modeling. We don't have to go free form. But the other thing that the students said was we really want an ergonomic handle, something that really fits the hand really well. So ergonomics being the science of how do we design something to fit the human body really well, to be really comfortable. Um, so that's where we need, um, that's when we need to go into the freeform modeling space. So I'll just, I've started a new model already and you can see I've started my sketch already, but it's only half the tongue. So what we're looking at here is that top view of the tongs here that I've started sketching, but I've only done half of it. Uh, over here, you can see if I bring up the, hide that and bring up that, you can see I sketched the whole lot. But for this product, um, for this freeform pair of tongs, and for reasons I'll explain later, we've just sketched the half, and that's a really simple sketch. Let's have a look at it. Um, it's just three things. It's just um, a curve, a line, and another arc there. All got dimensions, that's why this is black, not blue, because all those dimensions are happy. And you can see I've increased that distance there, because that's what the student said I really needed to do to improve. I needed a bigger gap here. So I've gone to 10, so when we mirror that across, there'll be a big 20 millimeter gap there. Okay, so let's get out of the sketch. Now one of the great things about Fusion is, um, you can actually bring in um, images um, that you've sketched or drawn, your designs, and use them to help you um, uh, shape your model into the into your original design. So if I just uh, open up this, you can see I've done a side view already of what I want the tongs to look like. So here's the hand. This is the handle part here, and you can see it's no longer boxy. I've got these nice curved shapes. So your thumb could go under here, uh, your palm of your hand could go over here, and I've tried to round up the the end part of the tongs a bit. Hey, we're engineers here, so I've also included dimensions. So I want this to be 165 millimeters long, 40 millimeters high. So I'm going to bring this exact image um, into my design to help me to help me um, create this shape. So that's the first step. So it's just a matter of going insert and attach canvas and have a look at the picture. Always look at the picture and and, and read the text that there. Usually good information there. So you can see a picture of someone sculpting a car and they've got the picture of the car from the designer in the background. So let's go insert canvas. Um, which face do we want to insert it onto? So I'm going to select this face here. And it says select your image. So I'm going to select this image. Uh, my tongs. Yes, that's the image I drew before. And it's come in and you can see it's come in quite small. So that's not quite the size we want. We want it to be the exact size of of this image here. So uh, down here it's got scale on X and Y. I'm, I'm just gonna increase that to get it close. So I'm gonna go 10 times bigger just to see what happens. Uh, that's pretty close. I'm just gonna drag it down this way. Um, and you can see the opacity 
here. Opacity just makes it a bit more see-through, but 50% is pretty good. Okay, so I'm just gonna go to that side view. But my sketch stops here, starts here and stops here. So you can see it's still not quite right, it's still not a hundred, it's still not quite the right scale. So up here you can see under canvases, it's already come in. So there's my tongs there. There's just one I brought in earlier. So I can go calibrate. So calibrate means just to um, adjust the the measurements of something. Um, okay, so I've gone calibrate. If I just hover my mouse there, it says pick the first point on the canvas plane. So I'm gonna choose that corner there because that's a good reference point. I'm gonna follow that graph paper line right along to the other side to where the 165 millimeters finishes. And I'm gonna click there. And you can see it's saying, hey, this is only 142 millimeters long. How long do you want it? So we know 165, I'm gonna hit enter. There we go. So now it's the right length, but it's still, I need this point up here, starting where the sketch is. So I'm gonna go back to edit canvas and I can start using my arrows again. So that, that's pretty good. I've just moved it across. Now I want to move it up. And I want this line here on the bottom there. So it's going up 20. I'm just going to change that value. Uh, no, probably just one more millimeter. So edit canvas. And I'm going to go negative one millimeter on the Y. Perfect. Okay, so hit OK. So let's have a look at that. Okay, so we've got our canvas there. We've got it's in the right size, in the right position for the sketch. That's great. I'm just going to hide it for now. I can bring that back later when I need it. Okay, so we're still in the modeling space. Up here, you can see it says uh, model. We want to enter what's called the sculpt space so we can get those freeform shapes. We've done everything we can do in the modeling space. So I'm going to hit, it says create form. So here it says, uh, insert a form operation into the timeline. It also says, use the sculpt command when shape is more important than exact size. That's important to remember. So in this, in this instance, we're designing these tongs. We want them to be really free form and fit the hand. So shape's more important. If we're designing something like a car engine, which, where exact size is important, probably stick just to the modeling space. So I'm gonna hit free form. Yes, I've entered the sculpt environment. Great, and now I want to start modeling. So just like uh, we've done in previous lessons, we're going to start with an extrude because we've got our sketch. And what do I want? It says, what profile do I want to extrude? And I select that uh, and it's already told me it's going to go the 40 millimeters high. Fantastic, just adjust that if you need to, but I want mine to be 40 millimeters high. You'll notice it's got these lines going through it. In between the lines, it's called faces. So the face is going this way, in that direction. Well, I've got eight. I've only got one going this way. We need these faces when we're pushing and pulling that shape into the exact form that we want. So I might just increase that to three. And that's probably enough for this shape here. So hit OK. But we've still only got half our tongs. Um, but luckily Sculpt has the symmetry function up here. So I'm just gonna select on that. And we want mirror duplication. And the great thing about the mirror duplication tool is, uh, I'll just select that body. It says, where do I want to mirror it? On what plane? So I'm gonna hit the mirror plane. The great thing about the mirror duplication tool is, uh, whatever I do now to this side, it's going to do it to that side, which is what we want. We want a symmetrical part. Okay, so we're going pretty well here. We've got our, um, our our body. Now, if we just go back to this one here, um, it's it's time to start modeling in these freeform shapes. So I'm gonna start with this part here. So back here. Okay, I've got my side view. Now it's time to bring back our canvas. So there's our canvas. So I just turn it on and off from the light bulb over there. I'm gonna zoom in. And that's great. I can see that I need to um, move this form so it follows that line there. So on this corner here, I'm just gonna right click and say edit form. And these arrows up here appear and you can see, I can just start grabbing it and adjusting it as I need. 
Okay, I'm going to grab the next one. I'm still just trying to follow that. Uh, no, I'm just undo that. I might just undo. Um, what if I just click the line and said edit form? And again, that comes up. Uh, okay, no, that's not going to work either. So I'm going to go, I'm just hitting the undo. So just uh, command Z. It was definitely that one there. So it takes a bit of experimentation just to get the one, the right feature. Uh, and I'm pretty, I'll just, no, undo again. Yep. Make sure your mouse is on the arrow. Okay, so that's pretty good there. Now I'm gonna do this one up here. Excellent. This one here, if I just zoom across, this one here probably needs a bit of work. So, I'll just... yep, and move it across. And I'm just going to go down the. Okay, so this one wants me to do something else. So, I'll just come around here. I do need to select just the point there. So right click, edit free form. That's looking a bit better. So back to my side view. Yep, now I can. And can we do the bottom as well? So, yep. Okay, how's that looking? Okay, so we're starting to get that shape there. So I've just done, uh, actually, if I, so I've just done the 2D shape in this direction. And at this point, I can probably hide the canvas. I've used it as much as I can. But I still need, so I'm going to hit OK there. If I go back here, you can see I've still, um, so while I've done the, the 2D shape along the edges there, I still need to puff it out along the edges here and puff it out along there. So let's just go, yep, I'm in the sculpt mode, that's great. So I'm just going to select this face here, and you can see it's selecting the face on the other side as well, edit form and try and drag that out great yep perfect and i might do that one as well yeah so that's looking pretty good there okay so that's coming along so now you can see i've really got that shape that i'm after okay now uh if i go back here uh, i've also puffed out around here on the end of the tongs. So I'm just gonna select, you can select more than one face at a time and that's just a matter of hitting the, the shift key. So I've hit the shift key to select all those faces at once. Right click, edit form. Beautiful. Okay, so that's the shape I want, but it's still, you will notice, it, it's not actually a solid. If I zoom in there, this is just a thin sheet. I need to thicken it up. So once you get the shape you want, go up to modify, and we want the thicken. And as the name suggests, it's just going to thicken up this shape. Now, I'm suggesting for 3D printing about three millimeters. Okay, so we'll just have a look at that. And there we go. So from taking the original sketch or parts of the original sketch from this feature here, we'll able to go into the sculpt mode and 
just by pulling those features, we'll able to get it into those, into the shape that we wanted, uh, and, and also importing that canvas. Now to finish this, I still need to go finish form up here. That's really important. So I'll go finish form, and that's our finished pair of tongs there. If you want to go back and edit that free form, it's not it's not hitting this feature here. It's going back to your modeling tree and going. Uh, edit there so you can see it brings it back up again and we can then grab those features and start again So edit feature Edit so the main tools that we learned were create extrude uh, the symmetry uh, and mirror duplicate for modify and thicken and don't forget at the start we, we did the attached canvas okay have a go yourself uh, and thanks for watching the video